Okay, so in this one, I'm going to kind of show you how to link these pages together. I need to save all these. We've got this like link um, tab down here, basically, that you can use to kind of create hyperlinks or uh, initially kind of what you'll link together maybe buttons with um, or you could do it with that like if you had an image in here you could link the button to a, another page now Dreamweaver's got a cool little point to file thing it's really fun to play with you kind of like okay I want that thing to go to this page over here it kind of gets a little confusing sometimes though so unless you're really going really fast kind of maybe stay away from that for right now so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to name these pages. This is kind of like my menu select down here. This is going to be my home page. Uh, not that one. This will be my page three. Take some titles. So you see this one will change the heading font on here too. Now, if you go over here and you select this, you can actually go over here to your insert, and you've got all this cool stuff over here where you can like insert pictures and uh, hyperlinks. You should create them that way too. Uh, tables. Uh, let's go to your heading. Have it on H1, and you notice down in your code, it surrounded that title basically by the H1 tag and the end tag. So this is page three. these down some. This is page two. One. And since this is my index page, but it's actually my home page, I'm going to just type it in down here to show you how it comes up. Oh, at H1, there it is. That's awesome. Now you want to close it. It automatically creates the end tag for you. So you're basically going to have to take your home out. Move it all the way over there. I don't want to break. There we go. I don't want this break right here, so I'm going to delete these two key brackets. There we go. Good enough. I still got my style sheet kind of where I can kind of plug in some formatting, but I'm just going to do the formatting on the single page itself. So, um,. Yeah, and this works basically the same way that, you know, any kind of InDesign maybe worked where you just create the hyperlink between the two. You just select what you want to select, and you go to your folder here, and I want this one to go to my index page, which is my home page. So, okay. Now it's created a little underlining, and you can kind of change that appearance if you notice. This is a call tag here. H reference equals index dot HTML. That means that that is a hyperlink, basically, that is referencing that um, page in that location. Um, if you want to change the hyperlink, the look of it and everything, you can kind of go to this page property here, go to your links, link color, rollover link. I'm just going to give this rollover link a different color so we'll know we're clicking on it. And the active, whenever I actually click on it. Green, this color aqua teal. Uh, yeah, that is what is it? Aqua. I used to have a truck that color. I'm trying to remember. Okay, teal maybe. Um, nevertheless. So I'm going to save. Control S. Preview it. I roll over, it's red. Click on it's green, and it's bringing me back to this home page. And basically, you got to do that for each one of these things here. So, page two, select page two.
Now I've already selected an appearance because if you notice my rollover link and my appearance is the same here. It didn't add it to the actual style sheet itself, but it actually added it to this right here because I only acted on this HTML page, which I can take and I can cut and paste this style and add it to these different pages right here if I want to. Uh, but yeah, that's where it added in the uh, style for the rollover because now each rollover is going to kind of look the same. Changes. I'll just kind of go through here and do this next one. Page three. Page two. the home in my index let's see if uh, for some reason yeah I could cut and paste the other ones page two back to itself basically page three Oop. page three Now I'm on page three, home. And there is what they're called, like creating a master page, kind of doing this on the index and kind of saving them, kind of like in the InDesign project where um, you kind of create a master page, then your main link on that page. But this is just doing it manually so you kind of see like how the code works. See the options, how this is done. Page three. Now I'm going to save all and see if this thing works. On page three. I'm going to go to home. Home works. Page two. Page two works. Page three. Ta da! Uh, you notice my rollovers are only if I go to home the only time they ever like do anything because that style was only on the index page let me see if I can transfer that that style over without going to the actual page property box and do it so this was my style this is where it's at the open and close tag, control C, it's underneath the link. And I'm going to just like put them right underneath there where they are. Control V. Control V. I'll save all. Our test on page three. Oh, yep, there we go. Now, all those attributes kind of translate over. So, yeah, so that's how you link pages together using this hyperlink. And I could actually, you know, if I wanted to put in like a website. For one of them, you could actually type the website in there. I think um, my website. It is www.warpuniverse.com. Any kind of website you pull off the internet. Pretty sure you may have to put in the HTTP yep. let me actually go to it I'm just going to copy this close them out 
back in my link selection here and I'm just gonna control V. Oh yeah, the HTTP is probably what it needed. Boo. Let me figure out what I need here exactly. I may not need this www. Okay, I know what it was doing wrong. It was not going to it in that browser. So basically what I did was say if you just had this word here, and I'll get rid of this link. I had to pause it for a minute to figure out why it wasn't going to the proper website. So I have like a website URL. Um, instead of going to another page in the actual document, I want to go to a website. So I just selected it. You could go to the link here, but you actually have this, um, the insert tab over here, hyperlink, which is kind of the same thing. You could find the page and go to it, but I just cut and pasted my website address in there like that, and it created the, uh, the H reference, HTTP, blah, blah, blah. If for some reason, if I go to preview it, it wasn't working in the... Um, actual Google Chrome, I don't know why, but it does work. If you go to the Internet Explorer. There are different browsers for different things. Weird. And it takes me right to my site. So it does work. It's just uh wasn't really working well with Chrome. Which could be kind of trial and error trying to figure out. So but uh in any case this is how to basically um Create rollovers, link your pages together, create a hyperlink to a website. And you can actually do this with images. If you call in an image, have an image sitting in there. We'll kind of go over that in the future, putting the images in there. So uh, yeah, so just get comfortable in like learning how to read this code here and, and see what it's doing. Just remember your body is where everything takes place at. So if you wanted to center this, here's another one. Center. Close it. The H tag in the center. Voila. And this con comes from reading the uh, the W three schools. H uh, tutorials you'll start to see like editors in here stuff like that learning how to like align things seeing what a, a division is a division is actually a box like if I want to put this into a division then you could start calling how large this division is inserting um, inserting uh, items in here and everything in that division will be centered blah 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 and actually ins start inserting stuff paragraphs heading tables we'll go over tables in the next one and uh you know pictures stuff like that and then start aligning stuff and it just comes with um viewing it here and then viewing it there that's the way i i kind of start building stuff in here seeing how it's built but just basically creating these bare bones um little text sites basically starts you start seeing the relationships between designing and actual coding and what's going on and it makes it to where you can actually see whenever you go to inspect a website Seeing what actual coding goes on behind the underneath the hood of the actual website itself if you just go to inspect the website 
just start understanding what all these um, these tags kind of mean. Look, there's my head, there's my body. That's the minimal resolution or the resolution and the size of it. You start finding out these hyperlinks, these, oh, that's where my reference link is. It's using some JavaScript here to do this. So it starts, all starts to kind of start to make sense, in other words. So, yeah, have fun with that, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.